So, welcome to Jim Pond Cars. Today we're looking at the first driving lesson, what you should expect on your first driving lesson. The car we're going to be using is an automatic, you can see it over my shoulder there, and we're going to look at what you're going to get up to on your first driving lesson, give you some basics, some hints, some tips, and show you what to expect. So, first of all, we've come to a quiet area. Let me spin the camera around. It's a reasonably quiet area, end of a housing estate and shouldn't be any great problems here. Uh, we're gonna get some uh, views from inside the car and uh, show you what it's gonna look like. So first of all, let's head over to the car. Right then, so here we are in the car. We've got um, a BMW here. So we've got a key for said BMW, um, but we don't have an ignition uh, barrel to put this into. Let me have a quick view down there. You can see we need to have the key in the car for the immobilizer but we don't need to insert it anywhere so i'm going to just put it in the center console um out of way and uh, make sure i can't lose it so let's have a look at some of the controls for the car then so um when you're doing your first driving lesson your instructor's going to run through some basic checks for you uh we're going to look at the rear view mirror we're going to be looking at the door mirrors and getting the seat set to where you want the seat to be, to be comfortable, to be able to look around and uh, drive the car safely and effectively. So um, I'm not gonna go over those now. Your driving instructor will do those with you. And of course that setup will be unique to the car that you're learning to drive in. So I'm not gonna waste your time on that now. So let's just think about some of the basic controls for this car. So we do have, obviously we have the steering wheel which as long as we can get our hand comfortably upon it, then we're gonna be absolutely fine there. We're driving an automatic, as we said, so we've got a parking brake and we've got a gear selector. We're automatically gonna be in park when we start the car. The car's gonna be safe, the parking brake's on it anyway. So that will be a nice, safe, easy start up. So let's, uh, let's do that first. So in this particular car, we've got a start button. So foot on the foot brake. We've got the brake pedal and the accelerator pedal down here brake pedal being the big one, accelerator pedal being the longer one there, so foot on the brake and then we can start the car. Okay then, so with the car started I can take my foot off of the foot brake now, the car's not going to go anywhere because we are in park, we can see the P selected there. We have the parking brake on as well, the emergency brake, hand brake, whatever you wish to call it. Okay, so a couple of basic controls that we may well be using today. First of all, we've got the windscreen wipers over on the right here. Pushing those up, it's gonna make our windscreen wipers work. And putting them on the auto setting, which is where they are now, they will just go automatically. Looks like a bright sunny day. I'm just gonna turn those completely off, so don't worry about those. And we do have an indicator stick here. Despite popular belief, BMWs are actually fitted with indicators. I know, shock horror and they work. So when I'm indicating right, for example, I've got a little warning sign comes up there, left. Basically, knowing which way to turn the indicator, it's kind of intuitive, really. To indicate left, the steering wheel would be moving down this way, so push it down. And to indicate right, the steering wheel would be going up on this side, so you'd be pushing it up. So, um, yeah, knowing which way to push the indicator stick should be straightforward enough. And it'll be the same in your car. If it's on the other side of the steering wheel, it'll work in exactly the same way. It's the way the steering wheel's moving um, and it will be very self-explanatory. Okay, so we're gonna use the indicators. We're gonna use the pedals. I've got another camera I'm gonna set up so you can see the pedals in action. And of course, we're gonna be using the gear selector here to select the gears that we're gonna use. So let me put my seatbelt on and we'll get started. Okay then, so all set and ready. Basically, we're going to start off with the gear selector over here. Let's talk about this a little. So, we're in park already, as we've already said. This is an automatic gearbox. So, if I put my foot onto the foot brake, so foot brake for a reminder is the big pedal in the uh, on the left there. Foot on the foot brake, that will allow me to move the gear selector. So, I've got a lock button on the side here, so that if I move it, you can hear the warning go off there. It won't change um, between the gears accidentally by, by me dropping something on it. So if I want to put the car into reverse, you can see here, if I push the unlock button, I'm simply going to push it forward, neutral, forward again, reverse. Okay, and because I'm in reverse, my reversing camera comes on and there will be reversing lights on the back of the car. I've got my foot on the foot brakes, so we're not going anywhere. Just press the P button and we'll go straight back into park. Park essentially just locks the car. 
the handbrake is on it's an electronic handbrake um, but uh, with women P it automatically locks the car the car's not going to go anywhere the parking brake handbrake is there as a backup Okay then, let's look at this again. So we're going to go forwards. So I'm just going to push the unlock button again and you see it work there. Just pull it down and we are in drive. D for drive for forwards. There is obviously on the side there, we can do a manual um, semi-automatic gearbox with this. But for your first driving lesson for sure, we're just going to stick it in D. D basically selects the gears for you. You don't have to think about whether you need first gear, second gear, third gear and so on. This car's actually got eight gears. You don't need to concern yourself with which gear you just press the the accelerator pedal the gas pedal to go faster the brake pedal to go slower couldn't be much simpler than that okay then so we've got our seatbelt on we're all ready to go so let's just work on getting the car moving we're going to move a little bit forwards and then i'll uh, stop the car reposition the cameras so you can get a bit more of a view out of the front window but uh, this camera view here you can see the um gear selector um, in use so let's first of all start off by pushing the foot brake i'm going to put the car into d for drive pressing the unlock button and putting it into d i'm also going to release the parking brake okay then so to get the car moving obviously your driving instructor will help you uh, with your mirror checks and your blind spot checks they will look at where those blind spots are where the mirrors ought to be checked and um, that's all essential for your driving test we're not working on that today we do have other videos about that on the channel and uh, obviously subscribe if you've not subscribed already about 90 percent of the people watching this won't have subscribed so please do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button uh, like and comment as well if you get the chance right then okay so to get the car moving we are on a reasonably quiet piece of road so this is a great place to practice so what i'm going to do then is i'm going to check around and i'm going to just release it's all safe so i'm just going to release the foot brake and we'll notice the car's moving already to get the car moving faster i will simply push the gas pedal a little and the car starts to move a bit faster brake to brake it gas to go faster okay then so someone's just let me go through a gap there so i'm just going to thank him for that so to bring the car into a stop soon after this bend i'm just going to check the mirror i'm going to signal for a left and let anyone know that can see that i'm stopping i've lifted off the gas pushing the brake gently braking gently braking and then when the car comes to a stop i'm just going to hold the brake firmly to hold the car in a nice secure position whilst i cancel the indicator i can then push p to park the car put the handbrake on as well um, to secure the car nice and secure right then let's get that um, uh, camera repositioned so you can see a bit more about what's going on out the front window okay then so let's have another look at getting the car moving so i've got my foot on the foot brake i'm putting this into d for drive and i've released the parking brake i'm checking around make sure it's safe so again to get the car moving i just simply lift off the brake pedal and the car will move by itself we're on a slight downhill plus the car will do that anyway and then i can just push the b uh, the brake to slow us down and the gas to speed us up there is a car in front there letting us go so i've just put a little bit of gas in there just to get us through the gap thank them for waiting you see i'm just positioning the car with the steering wheel there i'm just looking where i'm going and just steering around objects and after this part of the car i'm just going to steer us back onto the correct side of the road there we go just easy moving of the steering wheel it becomes easier with practice so we've got a little roundabout here and there's nobody about so i'm just going to keep on going making a little bit of an effort to go around it so to bring the car into a stop just after this bus stop would be a perfect place so i'm just going to indicate for any car behind and then I'm just going to lift off the gas and a little bit of brake, a little bit more brake. Just brings the car in nice and slow there. And then I can just brake to bring the car to a stop. Keep my foot on the foot brake to keep the car secure. P for park and parking brake on. So the car's not going anywhere. I can lift off the brake pedal and we're nice and secure. Cancel the indicator. Okay then, so hopefully this is making sense. We're just going to drive around onto another piece of road and we're going to build a bit more speed up this time. So let's have a look at how that looks. And of course, it's worth mentioning that when you're doing this on your first driving lesson your driving instructor will be with you with dual controls so i'm just going to push the foot brake and i'll put the car into d for drive release the parking brake so the car's now ready to go i'm checking around to make sure it's safe lifting off the brake see how the car moves already a little bit of gas make it move a little bit faster okay so i'm going left at this roundabout so i'm just going to signal left and we're just going to move on to the roundabout and straight through it there okay so i've got a little bit of gas here kind of just tickling the gas pedal we're not going terribly fast so if i want to go faster i just push the gas pedal more 
And if I want to go slower, I can lift off the gas pedal. And if I want to go slower still, I can push the brake pedal. See how that's working? So faster with the gas. As soon as you lift off the gas, we slow down. And as soon as we push the brake pedal, we slow down even more. So we can bring the car into a stop on the left here. So I'm just going to check around. I'm going to indicate we're going to push a little bit of brake there, bringing the car into stop, straightening the car up. Just a little bit more brake as we stop there, keeping the foot firmly on the brake pedal, cancelling the signal, P for park, handbrake on. Okay then, so one more time, we're going to go up to the next roundabout. We're going to see a little bit more speed as we're approaching that. And we're going to just negotiate that roundabout. So, same procedure again. Foot on the foot brake, into D for drive. I'm releasing the parking brake. I'm checking around to make sure it's safe, mirrors and blind spots. And I'm lifting off the brake, the car moves already, steering us away from the curbside there. A little bit of gas, the car moves faster. A little bit more gas, we move faster still. So we're in an automatic, the car is just changing up through the gears automatically for me. I don't need to worry about which gear we're in. I just need to push the gas pedal to go faster, the brake pedal to go slower. If you want to practice on your own or with a parent, um, well, if you want to practice with a responsible adult, normally a parent, then you need some insurance. To drive on roads like this, you can't just come out and drive on a road like this uninsured. Anywhere where the public have got access, even a supermarket car park, you are going to need insurance. And there's a great link for insurance. It's at the top of the screen, it's in the description. You can get short-term insurance, long-term insurance. They even send you a discount a code um, or a gift voucher when you uh, sign up for their insurance policies. So you can see I'm just steering the car around here. Perfect place to come and practice with your parents, maybe. We've got a little junction coming up here. So when all these industrial units are closed later on in the day, this will become incredibly quiet around here. Let's check the mirrors and signal for a left turn. So you can come to a place like this if you sort out your own insurance and you can practice everything that your driving instructor has taught you on your driving lessons and get it well practiced and well rehearsed. Okay, another left turn here, so I'm just gonna signal left. So you see how we're just finding our way around these nice easy roads here, moving the steering wheel, your instructor will talk to you about how to move a steering wheel on your driving lessons, just trying to feed the wheel from side to side. We've got a nice um, video which will help you with that, bringing the car into a stop just here. There we go, so stopping the car there. So thank you for watching our video on uh, what to expect on your first driving lesson in an automatic car. I do hope it's helped. Please subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. And um, don't forget to share this with any friends, family members. And don't forget, probably the most important bit, if you're going to practice between driving lessons with a, a friend or family member, that's brilliant. You're going to increase your chances of passing your driving test first time. So I fully recommend it. It's a great thing to do. Make sure you're insured, though. You've got the link at the top of the, uh, top of the screen and in the description. Uh, get yourself fully insured, and then you will have the best chance of passing your driving test because you'll have put the practice in. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, drop us a comment, let us know when your driving test is, if you've got one booked.